Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. As usual, tonight's nightcap is going to be in two parts. I've got quite a lot of machining going on. I have some forge or chop work. I modify or repair an old control pulley for Richard's central steam wagon. I sure that. I've got a little bit of footage of Mick's dog, Stig. Uh, Stig's allowed outside now. He's had all his injections. So we brought Stig into the workshop to try and see if he would pick up the scent of sort of machine tooling because he is a pointer dog, a hunting dog. Uh, he seemed to get the, the scent of things fairly well and we took him to a car boot sale this afternoon just to see if he could actually sniff out or point towards any machine related tooling. It's quite interesting to see what happens. That's it, get the scent. Good lad. Stig. Stig. What's in there? What's in there? Look. Good boy. In there, look. Stig. Stig. Oh, man. Good lad. Good lad. Stuff. That's a type of stuff, right? Good lad. See this stick? Eh? Right? Good boy. Little sort of stuff there. Good lad. It's got this much more than a little bit. Package turned up a work this week, uh, a big parcel actually, something I bought, uh, something that's going to be used in quite a lot of your videos, a, a project. Um, I use the camera to open the box, well I use a, a standing knife, but I video the box being opened, uh, see what's inside it. It's, I think it's fantastic, I think it's going to make some, some really good videos. Um, I hope you enjoy that as well. Touch. Good lad. Good boy. Good lad. Good boy. Can you read, can you, can you read as well? You just started learning. David Lake. Excellent. Great Steve, thanks very much for that. That's got to be a first. It's certainly the first time I've ever seen that done. And I'll get this nice body date eye. Dell Gage in the post this week. I'm going to do another giveaway this week. Uh, this week's giveaway is going to be for this tool here. It's a little, what I call an engineer's jack. Use it on a mill machine. It's an adjustable packing piece, really. Uh, I've got two or three of them given. I'm going to give this away as well as one of the six inch rulers and the little tape at bore gauge. Uh, it's a rough cast on the bottom, so I'm going to put it in the four jaw chuck and just machine that flat. So that will be posted away to whoever wins next week's draw. If you want to enter the draw, all you have to do is send me an email. That's my email address up there. Send us an email with your name. Your name goes into the bucket. And either myself or Stig or my daughter or Debsy will pull the name out. If it's your name, I'll post it off to you anywhere in the world free of charge. It's just a little way of giving something back and saying thank you for all the support I've had. I've got viewers now who are sending things in purely and simply to be given away on the raffle, which I think is absolutely fantastic. These are the items for this week's giveaway. A nice 6 inch steel rule, a depth gauge. They were both donated purely and simply to be given away in this machine's vase. See the bottom is rough cast so it doesn't, it doesn't lie level. I'll put that in the four jaw chuck and face it off.
obvious to anybody that this is a control cable pulley of a central steam wagon. It's an original one. It's pushing a hundred year old. You can see how much weight on it. It's done a, done a lot of work. What I need to do to it is take off this threaded portion, which will be whipped off, and convert it into what I would call an acme screw, so you can screw it into the woodwork on the central steam wagon. So I'm going to cut that off, drill it and tap it, put some threads on the end of here and screw that in. Obviously I'll have to take the, the pulley wheel out and I'll do a little bit of cleaning up. Probably make a new pin for it while I'm on. And it's been a long time since this was actually used or taken apart or seen oil. actually a brass pin in there I think all I'll do is gently fill that off and take the pin out that way and then drill the hole and put new pins in I'm using a file of what they call a safe edge on that part's got no teeth, it's not because it's they made a mistake making it, it means you can use a file up against your shoulder and you won't take any material off of that part. That part of the file's got teeth on, that's a safe edge on a file. left or right hand is doesn't make any difference depending on how I'm be dexterous or all there's a lot of a lot of corrosion on this a lot of wear on it I think a modern pulley will be made out of fantastic plastic and I don't really think but we'll see the sort of service that this is done. I mean the hole isn't even in the middle, it's obviously been hand hand finished. Okay, so I need to cut that off, drill it and put some threads in. And first I'll turn the head off this and put some threads on that. I don't think that's screwed into there. There again, it could be, there could be threads. Yeah, it appears to be screwed all the way through. That's been there a long time. I'll try a little bit of heat on it. See if it'll screw out. It's definitely there's definitely threads there. That's been in there for 
a very long time. Do you want me to just screw out with your fingers? Good chance to be Whitworth, that probably 716 is Whitworth. The last one these I did, I actually had to drill that out and tap it. But that was a more, more modern one. Right, the thread in there is, as I thought, half inch Whitworth. I've got lots of Whitworth taps and dies. I've got a half inch Whitworth die there. And that's just over a half inch, so I'll be able to turn the head off that, put some threads on, screw it and lock tight it into there. Now you might say they didn't have Loctite when they made that. I'm going to show you if they had Loctite, they would have used it. I'm going to lay it fairly slow and I've got a nice strong tool in just to take the square off the end of the bolt. Once I get it wrong, I'll put a bit of sharp tool in. I found that this tool here, this tip, blunt and chipped, and it just won't die, it keeps going on and on and on. And I use it for interrupt the cut work basically. Right, so it's part of my favourite right hand knife tool that does most things on the lathe. So that's half inch, so these are obviously half inch, half inch bolts. I'm going to put a nice lead on there so the die starts easily. Die's got two, obviously two sides to it. One side's got a taper on, the other side hasn't. You start off on the tapered side. Some dies have actually got to start from this side right on. I'm just going to use a tail stock to hold the, the die nice and square to the job. One thing you don't do is put a chuck key in there and use a tuck, chuck key to turn the chuck. It puts a necessary strain and wear on the, the sockets. So you put a little bit of weight on the tailstock and I've got a, a three quarter spanner. It's a good fit on the chuck jaws. That's cutting nicely, you can feel it cutting. So we've got some nice Whitworth threads on the end of there now.
Right, that's going to go nowhere at all. I just want to file across there and just knock the edge off. Be a very hard device this, you know, to swing it around like that, it's um, very useful. Right, once that gets a bit of rust on there, you'll never know it's been interfered with. Remarkable wear on that pulley. These are used for control cables for the likes of boiler feed pumps, cylinder drain valves. This one's actually going to be used as a control. We're going to put a control cable on for a whistle, steam whistle. I'll clean the pin up or make a new pin and put it back together. the pins are alright, you can just do with drilling out and some new split pins putting in. The pin may just punch out. Pigs may fly as well, but it actually has. That's one end. Can you imagine buying a modern pulley with a brass pin through it? I think not. Splendid. There must be boxes like this in people's garages all over the country. Jeez, link this. Pastels. This one's full of split pins. I've got no idea where this comes from. I've just seen it. I had it for basically forever. And I'm sure I'll find two split pins in here that'll, that'll do the job. There's one. Brilliant, two split pins. Put some grease in there, which is something I'll probably never see again. You always try and leave a nice sharp edge out there so you can get your hand caught on it. 
because that's what happens. Right, that's splendid, that's sort of ready to go again for another hopefully a hundred years. Probably quite easy to make a new one, but this is a proper cast and it's got a nice nice shape about it. Anyway, we'll get it installed on the wagon hopefully this week. <laughs> 